I want uh, to once again get back to the morning of the shooting. It's real because I did it, you know, and I take responsibility for doing, you know, the crime itself. Um, I remember up to a certain point, clearly, and that was, I guess, when the drugs started to kick in, because all that morning I had been drinking and uh, taking the pills with the, the, the whiskey and stuff. Past a certain point, it, it just all kind of phases out. I can hear people out there saying that even though you were on drugs, you were cognizant because you took the rifle and you took aim and you shot those people. Actually, I wasn't, though. I really wasn't. And, and in the transcripts, how it came up that the, uh, the scope was set off and, and it wasn't firing right. The weapon itself wasn't even firing right. They, they had trouble aiming it, the police. And it was, you couldn't aim with it because of how the scope was. It was knocked off. So the implications of that are? What I, I, what I can figure out is um, basically I was just shooting at the commando types that I saw and I, you know, I didn't realize that there was people back there behind that. I was, you know, I saw the commando types, you know, coming after me that I was hallucinating on. and. From what I can figure out from the reports and all that, I was shooting at them. And it, it didn't really dawn on me or, or sink in that, hey, there's people back there, you know, that are real people and stuff. So it's, it's not that I was aiming or taking deliberate aim. It was that they, they got hit because they were behind what I was seeing. In listening to you, I don't understand something. You were suicidal, you were on drugs, yet your father gave you a 22 for Christmas. Why did he do that? To this day, I don't understand that because the counselors had all told him that I was suicidal. Um, if I had a child and the counselors had told me that, there's no way that I would have given them a rifle or a gun or anything. Brenda, what you're really remembered for is you saying, I hate Mondays. Did you say, I hate Mondays? I don't remember saying that. Um, right now, we're trying to find, get some evidence that, that I did say that. I'd like to hear the tape. And it, it really influenced how people saw me and, and thought about you know, the whole case. It, it's just. I'd like to know that I actually did say that if I did. If you said that, it makes you sound cold-blooded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, on PCP, you're liable, you're liable to say anything. Brenda, what I have read is you have no remorse about all of this, but I sit here and you're filled with remorse. Well, it's not something that you just do and don't think about. You think about it constantly. You know, you're the cause of, of people's dying. And I really don't want to cause them any more pain. I, I hope that they're all doing OK, that they're all, you know, that I haven't scarred them for life. That um, they're able to deal with what happened to get on, you know, move on, and, and that I haven't done any permanent damage, you know, psychologically and stuff to them. You know, I, I hope that they're able to, to continue on and, and live a good life and have a good life.